it's been rumored that there's going to be a Tsukihime remake for about four years now, and they're going to do uh, Melty Blood in the Unist engine. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. But that's been, they've been saying it's happening yeah, for four right, years. Right. Okay, getting ready to go into this. Ooh, so what he kind of busted out his poison? This is an interesting, interesting choice. Um, I think poison will do okay in this match. Uh, you know, she, she can zone, she can zone, uh, Alex enough, and, um, Alex, you know, doesn't really get OP off of much, so her lack of def defensive options aren't really going to hurt her much. Yeah, I was gonna say that, I was gonna say, like, uh, if Alex gets started, like this, yeah, I can see it being a real problem. Right, of course. Because she had, li like, literally, what? Nothing. Have nothing. Yeah. yeah. Um. But if if, if Poison can s like just start outranging straight up Alex. Ooh, good open. Yeah. See. It's good. I don't think Alex can really do much. Yeah. No. He he definitely struggles if you play lane correctly. Exactly. Okay. I like the stance cancel into dash up throw. He's you know showing a little bit of matchup unawareness on Pen Knight's part. I mean, how many poisons do you think Pen Knight's played? Not a lot. This character's not that good. Oh, what's this guy? He's just rolling for it. Okay. He's One more gas. Ooh, good confirm on the Crouching Light. I like it. I'm gonna guess we'll see Hoodie Tar go back to Ed. Probably. I would say that's a safe option. Yeah, for sure. So a character he's much more comfortable with. He's only been playing Poison on a very, you know, like, casual level for, like, this week. Okay. Yeah. Picking up any characters, seeing how they feel. Right. Trying to get away from the uh, uh, Ed. Yeah. I mean, his Ed is not bad, but it's it's Ed. I, I don't think Ed is nearly as bad as a lot of people say personally, but it's you just say that the, with char a lot of characters. the character. Well, yeah. This, frankly speaking, this game is actually quite well balanced. Please do not turn that off. That's gonna be terrible. You're right in their ears right now. I know. They want they want that Chipotle ASMR. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Uh, so my point is, so I don't really think there are many bad characters in this game. There are just characters that it's you have to work harder to win with. Wouldn't that be considered bad characters? No, no. Bad character, bad characters to me would be like Street Fighter 4 DJ. Oh, just that's a bad that don't character. Function at all? Yeah, that, that just don't work the way they're supposed to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I guess you're right. There's a lot of characters. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, one more, one or two more guesses. Okay. Yeah, well, oh, he is stunned. I didn't think he was stunned. Man. It's called Stun Gun Head. Uh, he's, he's <laughs> okay. That's a big lot of damage. 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 One mix up. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Big jump out. Okay. Confirming the trigger. Gets the plus frame. Whoa, what an option. Now, that is something. Last week, I remember in their match. Pen Knight talking to me afterwards and saying that he didn't know a lot of Alex's mi or not Alex Ed's uh, mix-up potential in his uh -huh. V Trigger too. And after explaining it to him, I told him that you know I think in those situations where you're unsure of plus frames, it might armor. be beneficial to EX elbow out because it has armor. That's exactly yeah. what happened. That's matchup knowledge. I like that. Really, it's such really such quick adaptation. such quick adaptation on, yes. so, on something that like how many like how many Eds do you fight? Just like how many Alex? For fight? sure. Sure. So good adaptation, good knowledge. Mm -hmm. I like him blocking it out there. He gets the side squish. That's okay. He's still he's still got the still got the corner, but now it's looking. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, he should be dead. Yep. Yeah, stun. Gets the stun. Back throw for meter gain. And then forward, forward throw. Right. Oh yeah, he had he had CA anyways. Okay. I I don't think Pen Knight needs to worry about that too much. You know that was. It was a little bit of a steamroll, but he's still got, you know, he's still tied up on rounds anyway, so if he wins this one, he's up 2 well. I don't think he needs to sweat. Yeah, I'll think he's blow you up at any point in time. Yeah, oh yeah, he's he's a train. As long as he gets started, Ooh. he hurts. Oh, what the hell? That, that was really weird. That was very wonky. Okay, okay. okay. We, see, uh, we see Hoodie Tar going a little crazy. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. Oh, good. Good, uh, good uppercut. Oh, oh, I think it okay. does. Yeah. He didn't, Wait, he didn't it does? That's wow. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. there. I saw that. Yeah. I 
didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know he was busting. Yeah. That looks like a very minus move. I think I think that's the intent. Is that it's it's supposed to be a little deceiving, but yeah, I think he's like plus two. Plus two or plus three. Which makes really it good. showing that the the switch was the switch was very good. Yeah, it was in his favor. Um, and again, a character he's more comfortable with. Yeah, exactly. Um, I feel like character, like knowing your character, will always outbeat just playing a better character. Yeah, for sure. C counter picks can only go so far. Exactly. Um, and you, you even see that at the very top level. Yeah. You know, oftentimes somebody might try to counter pick. Uh, you know, maybe in like top eight or something. Oh my. And uh, character unfamiliarity. Uh, oh my goodness. And awkwardness will just uh, will trump. Did you see how crazy his entire pressure string was? Put yeah. he press pressure. It was. It was Ooh, oh, okay. Okay, this is a lot of stun. Yeah. Stun gun headbutt. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He, he's he's gonna go. Insane. Oh wow! He uppercut that. That's that's like. Oh, he saw that. That's crazy. That was impressive. And that's, I think that's something that, you know, speaks about his experience as a player. Yeah. You know, he's he's able to play so many different games, yeah. whether it's whether it's Tekken, MK, Dragon Ball Fighters, at yeah. a competent level. Some yeah. of them very good. Yeah. And so he understands fundamentally, you know, How do you the, the, the rhythm habits? and yeah. the kind of dance that players are going to play in a exactly. match. That hit really deep. That was really weird looking. I guess a lot of things that does this really weird looking. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Pen Knight starting no. someone's off. I really like the air to air. Nice. Okay, one more hit. Gives for a stun. really good mix up there. I, I I respect it. I respect it. Oh. Okay. Good throw attack. Oh my god. He didn't get the crush pierce. He had a miss hit, but that's what that was. Okay, here is uh, here's game point for Hoodie Tar, potentially gonna go up 2 1. That was that was strange. Okay. Okay. Trade. Yep, that, that was that was a good trade in uh Pen Knight's favor. Good backdash. Pen Knight's getting Pen Knight's getting pretty antsy. He's starting yeah. to fish for really big crush counters and it's biting him in the butt. Oh, I like the EX SPD. Look up okay. okay, he gets another mix up off of this. Okay. Okay, I I, I wanna see him walk him down. Walk him down, push him towards the corner. Nice. Ooh, he with punished that. That was sick. Oh, he's just out of range. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah. Okay. But he sure goes up too long. Oh, that, oh, GD must not have. Uh, yeah. Must not update it. So that that was actually it. Hoodie Tar takes it three one. Um, a good good match from good match from Pen Knight. I think I think 